hello! The Generation 8 starters were revealed and I am so excited! Is my nerdiness showing? Yes. Today I'm going to discuss each generation's starters leading up to Generation 8. I'm going to pretend that I'm restarting the game right now and tell you who I would choose as my starter. At the end, I'm going to reveal who I'm planning to pick for Gen 8. Starting off, we've got Gen 1, which I played when I was a wee little child. Now we've got Bulbasaur, who is the best inside the game, Charmander, who's the best competitively outside of the game, and Squirtle, who was my original first starter. This is a really tough pick, but over Overall, I feel like nowadays I'm more interested in the competitive scene than I am in just playing the games or going with cute little Squirtle. So if I was gonna restart the game now, I would choose Charmander. For Gen 2, we've got Chikorita, who has my favorite Pokedex entry because it's very calming and it's just really cute. I really like Chikorita from an aesthetics kind of standpoint. Cyndaquil, I feel like used to be really cool, but now that he doesn't have the fire in as many of his animations, he's just not quite as cool as he used to be. But Totodile is hilarious. Gen 2 was the last generation where I watched the anime and his energy was really, really funny. Plus he's actually pretty decent in a fight. So for Gen 2, I'm going with Totodile. Gen 3 is really tough. I feel like the Gen 3 starters were just really well designed. So you've got Trico, the super cool, super fast lizard. You've got Torchic, who starts off really, really cute and then becomes super powerful. I mean, like, whoa, that speed boost ability is insane. Thing. And then you've got Mudkip who's got a really unique typing and he's cute in a I wanna hug it kind of way. Ultimately though, that speed boost ability, I gotta go with Torchic. Gen 4 is where I lost some interest in the franchise and I think part of that is because I had trouble connecting to the starters. Chartwick has a really cool idea behind his design but I just don't find him that cute. I feel like I could grow to love him but I've never actually used him as a starter before. Chimchar is just a monkey with fire on its butt. Plus it's another fire fighting type. Piplup, okay. Okay, that one's cute, but his evolutions are just okay. If I was gonna play it again, I'd pick Turtwig. Gen 5 was another generation where I was kind of iffy about the starters. There's Snivy, the edgelord lizard, who's just upset because Trico is cooler. Then there's Tepig, who looks like he's wearing a diaper. Ew. Also, another firefighting type, really? And then there's Oshawa, whose design is really similar to Pipla, but he's got a really cool middle stage. I guess I'm gonna go with Oshawa, but really? I'm going with Dua. And now on to Gen 6. Whew, thank goodness we got through 4 and 5. Chespin looks like that kid that would wear winter hats in the summer that would be like, oh, I'm so cool, guys. Fennekin is like, oh, I'm so cute. I bet it evolves into something even cuter. No, God, please, no, 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 no. And then Froakie's just like, yes. 100% yes in every way. So obviously, if I'm gonna play that one again, I'm choosing Froakie. For Gen 7, I originally started with Rowlet because looks-wise, I feel like it's the best. And then I started with Litten, which is like, oh, it's so cute, and I bet it evolves into some sort of cool tiger. Tony the tiger? Wait, what? No! Pop Leo is okay, I guess, and it's actually pretty good. I think if I were to play again, I'd go with Pop Leo. All right, Matt is joining me for Gen 8 to defend his boy. So... <laughs> You're too cute. For Score Bunny, I can really relate to the energy and the consequent band-aids all over the place because you get hurt when you have a lot of energy. I'm pretty sure I have a band-aid on my knee right now. She always has a band-aid on one of her knees. Pretty much. I'm not I'm not very good at shaving, slash I also run into things and bump into things and you get bruised very easily too. I, yeah, I feel like I'm always covered in band-aids, so I can definitely relate to that like high energy making mistakes and bumping into things. But then Savo is all the adorbs and I want to hold it and protect it and it be is, its friend forever. Yeah, Savo is very adorable. He's really cute and I really like it's the colors. It's a great case to be made for Savo. Yeah, and I really like the colors too because like, I mean, yellow and blue, I feel like that's just like how I live. So like, I really and like And green Sable. and white. Ugh. And Red. So don't hate me, Grookey Gang. I know you're out there, but I am not. She's wrong. Not entirely the biggest fan of Grookey, but. Grookey's the best boy. I was gonna say, it's okay, because you've got this guy over here who's full Grookey Gang. Definitely Wait. going with the little. He's so one. cute. He's so curious. He just wants to explore. How could you not like that? You like exploring. Okay, so the moral of the story is I am not sure who I want to go with. I'm going to try to get her to pick Rookie in the end. Don't worry about it. I think if I had to pick right now... 
Oh god, I don't even know. I'm actually considering doing the thing where you restart the game so that you can get two starters, you know, that trading thing, so that I can have both Score Bunny and Sobble. Because a life without Score Bunny and Sobble together as friends forever just doesn't seem right to me. So I might end up starting with both, like the indecisive person that I am. All right, well, I guess I haven't fully decided who I'm choosing for Gen 8, but if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe. And if you have a favorite starter for Gen 8, make sure you comment that below. Bye. Bye.